welcome. I am so excited to have you here because it means that you probably just created your present self. And if you're looking at this and you're like, what, what is this? What's going on here? Don't worry, pause the video. I'm gonna put a link down to the bottom. You can create your present self in minutes. Um, yeah, and then come back to this video. So in this video, we are going to tap into your core values because before we go head first into doing your future self, we want to be sure that you know what your values are. You, you know what will uniquely fulfill you. I know, it sounds big, right? So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to find a nice quiet place to sit down and think. <laughs> I know, it's like, I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes and think with you guys in silence. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I could do that if you wanted. Let me know. So what I am going to do is I am going to take out either a piece of paper. I am writing right now on my iPad, but pen and paper are good too. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to answer the following question or to describe the following. Um, sit back, close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes, but you can close your eyes and envision what your ideal day looks like. And I mean your every day, not this kind of broad, vast thing, like your day today, like you wake up and you go to work or you go wherever. And I want you to envision your ideal day. And I like to do this also to envision your ideal work, like a work, a weekday week, like a work day. And then also envision a weekend week because they're very different, right? With what you are doing. And as you're doing this, I'd love you to be as detailed as possible in that instead of just saying like, I don't know, I, you know, my weekday could be, I, I woke up, I went to work, I came home, had dinner and went to sleep. I watched TV and went to sleep. Yeah. But what would be even better would be like, hmm, I woke up at, you know, 7am. I did not look at my phone. I, you know, closed my eyes. I did a meditate. I know this sounds a little much, but like, yeah that detail or like I woke up to the smell of coffee <laughs> it's like the Folgers commercial right but things like that like what are you eating what are you drinking what are you seeing what what does your space look like to be honest with you like you don't have to be waking up into in your own space right now like my space I'm looking up at a skylight oh that'd be amazing so get as detailed as possible um like for me I go as detailed like you know, I drop my kids off from school. Then from there, I walk and I go get a coffee at my favorite coffee shop where they know my name, which is like cheers. I know, I'm funny. It's like all these <laughs> things are coming off on TV shows. Um, but things like that, like maybe I go to my common like all-female workspace where I am friends with so many people. I have coffee. I talk, I get inspired. We give each other ideas. That I have, I'm like kind of, you know, going through in my head, like, what would my ideal work week look like? I sit down and I really focus and I get, you know, three hours block times. Like I work for three hours of super focused work and that's it. That's my work. That's my work day. No longer eight hours of like off and on. Be like, no, I'm super focused. And then I get to do what I want to do. So things like that, like really tap into what does that ideal day look like for you? What are you eating? Who are you with? So I want you to write that down. You can pause, of course, pause this video and write down your ideal work, work week and your uh, ideal weekend, what that looks like, right? So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pause, pause and come back after you're done with that. Are you back? Okay, you ready for the next one? And then the next prompt is think of a time in your life where you were just so happy, so full of joy, 
and think about that time, that moment, and write about it. Tell me about it. So with that, pause the video again. That was a horrible sound, sorry. And I'll see you back. Welcome back. How'd you do? So now what we have is we have your ideal day on a work day and on a weekend day in as much detail as possible. And you also wrote about a period of time, a moment that just gave you pure joy. You were so happy and you described that moment. So now that you have these three uh, kind of journal entries really, what do you do with it? This is where you sit down and you read it over to yourself, right? And you start picking out the, um, the common threads like that bring it, that, that bring you joy essentially. Like for me, my common thread in all of my things were family, right? Be having time with my kids. And I was like, oh, took that out. That's a value right there, right? Um, that's one of my core values. Like I need that to be happy. That's part of my, my best day. So it's kind of like taking the parts that make up your best day and realizing that is what's going to make your best life, right? If you fill all your days with the best things, your life is also going to be filled with those things and your life is going to be amazing too. So that's what we're doing. We're picking out what is making that day so great. So you can use it as your core values to make your life that great. Does that make sense? So go through, like for me, okay, I had my family um, in there a lot. So I took my family, bing, that's one of my values. Another thing for me is I found that um, like activity, like exercise, mental and physical was actually a really important part of me and it changed my mood so much that that is one of my values. That's something I need to be happy. So ping, put, you know, activity, exercise up there, being active. And the another thing that came up for me was design. Like for me, I love beautiful, clean designs, especially like minimalist design that came up in my kind of surroundings, my day to day. So boop, there we go, I'm gonna put design up there. And, and also for me, creating. Creating is huge for me. So I go ahead, there's creating in my core values. And then my other thing was what do I wanna do with my life? Kind of that purpose, that having that purpose in life and life meaning. And for me, it, it came out to be like helping others, doing something I'm passionate about and just having an impact. So life meaning, I know it seems broad, but that was like a, a part of my values. I wanna live a life with purpose, helping others. So boom, that's one of my values right there. And there you have it. My five values that I am going to use to as my compass to make sure I have all these things so I am living my best life. And that's exactly what you just did right now. So what are your core values? Share them with me in the comments. And yeah, now that we have your core values, we can then move on to creating your amazing future self that's filled with all your core values, just like this. So if you haven't already, the next step is to go back to that interactive module. Remember the interactive module that only took you a couple of minutes to do? Now have fun with it. Create your, um, your future self. So I joke, <laughs> this is my present self, which is like totally in sweatpants. I mean, this is what I'm wearing. I'm essentially actually wearing this right now, now that I'm looking at it. You can't see, I'm, I'm wearing like these jogger pants. But, <laughs> so this is my current self, or my present self. And so I have my future self a little bit more stylish. I have a dress on because it's summertime and I love the summer. So now that you have your core values, Let's put the present self and your core values together to create your future self.
I'll link it right here. Yeah, let's do the next one together. I will see you soon. In the meantime, have a fabulous day. Talk to you soon. Bye.